Hey everyone, welcome to another great episode of the Smooth Business Growth Podcast where we share 15 minutes of fast-paced, pure marketing strategies proven to move the needle in your business. I'm your host and Captain Lindsay Phillips. I'm the founder of Smooth Sailing Business Growth where we help busy entrepreneurs attract and convert customers faster through powerful and consistent content marketing. In fact, if you go to smoothbusinessgrowth.com, you can download your social media roadmap to help you do just that. I mean, we all run our business to create a better lifestyle and we of course want to make more money with less stress and overwhelm. So you are in for a treat today because we're chatting with Johnson Emanuel of Clients Attraction who has created six unique multi-million dollar marketing strategies, campaigns, and systems. So let's set sail. Welcome aboard, Johnson. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. In fact, I'm on fire. Woohoo! I like that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, the name of the game is definitely client attraction, but it's amazing how many entrepreneurs out there are still really struggling, right? To like, you know, find clients or attract clients that will actually pay the premium products and services that are paying their worth. I mean, what is it that we're missing or why is this happening so frequently? Well, crazy. It's crazy, man. When you see the, 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 the number of entrepreneurs who suffer and um, who don't get clients. In fact, they don't get premium clients, let alone, they don't just get any client at all. Yeah. And then, let alone premium client. And the problem is this. The oxygen of any business is cash flow. Yeah. That's true. Like, I believe strongly that one of the biggest reasons, one of the biggest reasons businesses fail is because of lack of revenue, consistent inflow of revenue. Right, right. Like, you see, there are different parts in a business, a lot of parts, like five, six parts in every business. But the most important part is the marketing side of things. Like, Revenue is the most critical part. And then how do you get revenue? You need to make sales. You need to get customers. And then how do you get customers? How do you make sales? You need to have good marketing. Yeah. So I always say this. Most people suffer because they don't think marketing is important. I give you a typical example of a baker. Now, a baker, the baker loves to bake. That is his craft. Yeah. That is what he loves to do. Like, he could bake from now to tomorrow. But guess what? The business is not growing. Is baking, sweating it out, right? <laughs> yeah. giving, all, giving it all the sweat equity, but it's not making any headway because he's not been told anything about the business side of things. I know, it's so hard. The same thing with the dentist. The dentist loves his craft. Dentistry. He knows everything about dentistry, but he doesn't know anything about business side yeah. of things. So he has one dental clinic for the next 20 years. He's still there. He's not making any headway. In fact, the same thing with the life coach. He loves to help people. He loves to push people. He loves to help them get good things. But guess what? He doesn't know the business side of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you know this business side of things, it changes the game in your business. Totally. And your business begins to skyrocket. Now, the problem is this. Most businesses don't know the value of marketing. I always say to people, look, I was discussing with somebody the other day, and he told me that um, he has a marketing budget. I said, okay, and I asked him, so what's your marketing budget for the year? He said, well, he wants to spend $100,000 on marketing at most in their company. I mean, it's a big company. They have about 200 staff. Yeah. So we said, okay. I said, fine. Why should you cap it at 200000 I'm sorry, $100,000? Why should you cap it? Mm -hmm. So because that's what they, they be marked for the year. So why should you mark any fee? For me, I tell my client this. I don't believe that you should have a restricted market budget. Why? If you give me $1 and I give you $3, will you stop giving me? I'm sure that you're going to give me any time I want it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So That's, why yeah. should you have rest why should you get to a particular point? You said you can't give it to me again because this is it. This is what you can do. Now, so long your marketing is working, you shouldn't have yeah, any yeah, exactly. That's on, easy, your, right? on your on your budget. But fortunately, unfortunately, most marketing are not working. So it gets lots of people, they are stranded, they are stuck, they're not making headway and they are not growing. Yeah, that, and that's true. It's funny. It, it's like so many entrepreneurs will, okay, I've got the set marketing budget, 
and and they just hope it works versus testing and then like you said if it's working why restrict yourself keep putting exactly. money into it exactly exactly i mean keep pushing yeah. it keep pushing it and you, you know the, the thing i say the one of the reasons uh, marketing doesn't work for most people is because they keep attracting seven dollar clients yes and and i you know i was listening to tony robbie some time ago he said yeah tony robbins was doing well he said look dude we are doing very well we're growing the business he said but what triggered astronomical growth in our business is was when we changed the people we work with like once we made that shift mm-hmm. the moment we made the shift we started having astronomical growth in our business. This is Tony Robbins speaking now. So the people you work with are very important. If you work with broke clients, I always joke with my client, if you <laughs> keep working with broke clients, you're going to be broke. I mean, yeah, yeah. there's nothing, there's no difference. I mean, you, so you, there's nothing, you don't need anything. So say, I would let you know that, look, if you're working, if you're, all your clients are broke people, you're going to be broke. It's yeah. simple. So, but when you work with clients who have cash who can pay you, you're never going to be broke. You don't have lots of money to give out to people. Yeah. So, I always tell people, don't work with broke clients. Work with clients that can afford your service. So, I saw the product some time ago, and that was way back, like, six years, seven years ago or something. Yeah. Now, that, that product was um, $47. Guess what? Guys who bought that product, sometimes they'll pick up the phone and call me at 2 a.m. in the morning to explain stuff to them. In fact, <laughs> and I'm like, if I continue on this path, oh, you're gonna, I'm going to die very Yeah, quickly. absolutely. <laughs> so look, I mean, because guys who are broke, they give you the least money and they expect the most from you. Yes, so true. Now, it, let's even look at it. It's not worth the you stress. Want build, yeah, you not worth the stress at all. Now, you want to build a $1 million business. You have two options. One, you can decide to price your stuff for $97 or $297 or whatever it is. Then you go look for 1 billion clients to, to, to make up yeah. so that you can have your $1 million. Alternatively, you can just price your stuff for ten k or $20,000 and then just get some like 10, 15, 20, 30 clients. You see, hit your income goal. And the clients will pay you the most, give you yeah. the less stress. And yeah, guess what? True. Guess what? The guys who pay you the most take action. Yes. They're very disciplined. Because why? They've invested lots of money. Now, the last time you bought stuff for $7, can you remember where you kept it? <laughs> I mean, that's true. I mean, but if you buy stuff for $2,000, man, you are not going to joke with it. No, exactly. You're never going to joke with it. If you buy stuff for ten thousand dollars, man, you're gonna have it everywhere you go to. That is the same thing. That is the same thing as this. So when you begin to work with people who have money, your business will change. And I keep telling people, you know, when I discuss this with people, most of they tell you, um, but they have some. They bring up some companies that are charging low fees and doing very well. I said, well, there's no, there's no right or wrong, wrong um, model mm-hmm. to copy. There's no right or wrong. Now, I was discussing with a few people when I was invited to speak at, at an event in Phoenix a while ago. And then they were discussing. I told them, there's the thing. If you look at Walmart, Walmart, they spent $3.8 billion in advertising in 2018. Mm-hmm. And I asked business people, do you have that kind of money to spend in advertising? Now, if you look at Amazon, Amazon is a trillion dollar business and they sell stuff for $7, right? Yeah. Now, if you say you want to model Amazon, I ask you, do you have $10.1 billion to spend in advertising? That's what Amazon did last year. Wow. Now, come to Apple. These guys, they are a trillion dollar company. Yeah. Now, the quickest way you can grow your brand it's by charging premium fee. And I'm not just saying you should just wake up, just go charge people um, premium fee. No. You need to be sure that what you are selling is good enough. It has the value. Because if you don't do that, if what you are selling is not good, if the money is your motivating factor, believe me, I give you just 60 days, you'll be out of business. Yeah. That's the truth. So you must yeah. make sure that you get fewer people who you can give massive value. 
And you should be able to transform their life, their business, whatever thing you're doing. You should be able to transform their life. You charge them good fee, transform their life. And the good thing is you have a lot of these guys in every market. I don't care what kind of market you are. I don't care what you sell, product or services, whatever thing you sell. There are guys who will pay you premium fee. They are in every market. And I guess in a sense, we're holding ourselves back by having a lot of people have, we have limiting beliefs in regards to charging too much. Yeah. I think, I think that's one of the biggest problems I'm going to see every time when I talk about this topic, man, people have limiting belief. They limit themselves. Their mind is the problem. Now, if you are saying right now, and I'm talking to your audience, if you are saying right now that nobody's going to pay me that. Now, the problem is not that people are not going to pay you. The problem is actually you. Yeah. Not the market. Because the market is going to pay. So true. When I got started, when I got started way back in 2004, 2005, dude, I was charging way back then $2,000 to my services. And guys were paying. I got people were charging way lower than that. But I was charging down dollars since 2004, 2005. People have been paying me that thing. Yeah. So it's you believing one in yourself. And I want you to know something. If you're selling something that solves a major life problem, you are not selling information, you are selling transformation. Yep, that's true. So if you're selling transformation, then people are willing to pay anything so long as you can transform their life for them. So your focus should be on good, having good product and getting fewer people who are going to pay you um, good fees. So let's say... Your, your income goal for the month of June or any other month at all is just $10,000, right? Mm-hmm. So if your income goal is $10,000, what about if you can get, instead of looking for 1 billion clients who will make up your, your, your $10,000 income goal, why don't you look for five or three clients who will pay you that fee? Yeah. And they're easy in every so market. So much easier, absolutely. They're very easy. Very, very easy. You see, clients who want to pay you premium fee, they will not ask you too many questions. They will not stress your life out. Like, no, they just want to know you have the value and that you're going to... You have the value you're going to give to them. If you can prove you have the value you're going to give to them, boom, they give you money. Yep, that's so but true. Broke guys who want you, like back in Africa, we joke about it, they will tell you, look, you're going to pay your grandmother, your grandfather, you're going to bring everybody to be sure before I pay you because they are broke. So they need <laughs> many security. So that's how it is, man. Yeah. That's so true. Now, I do want to uh, touch upon, because you talk about sharing an irresistible offer. Um, how do we figure out what an irresistible offer is to attract those people? Now, the truth of the matter is that I have a strategy which we develop in-house. We've been using this strategy for more than six years now in our business and in the business of our client, right? We call it, it's a very powerful strategy that we develop. Now, I believe that your, your offer should be so irresistible that even if a lunatic sees it and refuses to buy, the lunatic will consider himself mad. Doesn't right. make sense. So if people are not buying your product, chances are you are selling to the wrong people or yeah. your offer is not irresistible. Oh, very good. That's the truth. If your yeah. offer is irresistible, people are going to buy Snap what you are up. selling. Like they're going to buy it. Except if the market is wrong. Like, now, I tell people, people ask most of the time, what is an irresistible offer? And I tell them, look, an irresistible offer is not even the price point. Right. If you want to create an irresistible offer, the first thing I want to find out for is what are those things in, in the mind of my market? What are the things, the objections in their mind? Then I find how to tackle it in my offer. Right. That is how to create the offer. That, that, that's how to create. In fact, recently, I just did a short promo. And I was wow because of the number of people who bought that stuff. Most people were sending me mails telling us, look, this is crazy. I'll be mad not to buy this. Look, if you have a market and the market is not saying, look, I will be mad if I don't buy this, then your offer is not irresistible. And I said this again. Let me say it differently. <laughs> If what you are giving to your market, if it doesn't give you sleepless night, if it doesn't give you sleepless night, the offer is not irresistible. Hmm. Like if you get up, you get all the offers together and then you go yeah. to your bed and then you sleep freely, then that offer is not irresistible. 
trash it, go back to bed. Go back to, to the table, to the drawing table and make your offer irresistible. Like, let it look like what you're giving is so crazy that the customer will like, is this person mad? Is this for real? <laughs> for real? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's just how it is. But be sure that you're doing that. You're not doing it in a creepy way because customers yeah. are so it. They're still true, they're still not going to buy. So you've got to be very sure about what you're doing. Yeah. But if your offer is good, if you're not selling, two things are responsible. One, either your market is wrong, that's one. Two, or your offer is not irresistible. So when the offer is not resistible, the market will resist the offer. That's how it is. Love it. And that makes it so clear. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's not yeah. selling, then it's either this or this. It's like, yeah. it, it just makes it easier to fix the problem. It, 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 I think it's crazy. You know, um, a while back, like last week or so, I was talking to somebody, a, a prospect who eventually became our client. When they came to us, the first thing they were saying, hey, Johnson, how much do you want us to, you know, keep aside? for Facebook advertising. We have the money, just sell us. They were telling them a lot of things. I said, look, listen, pretend like Facebook doesn't exist. <laughs> just pretend. Yeah. Like, like pretend like we're in the 1920s. Just pretend about it. I said, okay, so why? I said, because I've been told that just bring money and then we'll get, we to get customers. I said, look, that is what most people do. They always throw money at problems. And the problem never gets yeah. up. Now, because if you're advertising, if your offer sucks, the more money you spend to advertise that sucking offer, is the more you show people that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. No. You have an offer that the customer sees and looks at it and say, wow, I'll be crazy if I don't take this. Yeah. That is what you should Perfect. do into the marketplace. That is what you should be selling. And I say, I say it again, you should be getting premium client. If you yeah. have a business and you don't have a premium client, I'm sorry you don't have a business yet. Yeah. No, I love it. That's perfect advice. And now, of course, our 15-minute cruise to move the needle in your business has come to an end. It comes by so fast. Yeah, it's it given does, us man. some great <laughs> feedback. You know, what's kind of holding us back from achieving more and why are we not attracting the clients that we want that'll pay more and talking about we talked about the irresistible offer and if your product's not selling what are those two things that you need to look at love it we packed so mm -hmm. much in in 15 minutes yeah man crazy <laughs> awesome now how can people find you and how can people i know you've got a great book which I'll, of course i'll have the links on the um show notes yeah. but yeah now, if, if, you, share if that. you're selling this stuff right now i need you to grab and I'm not saying this because I want you to buy the book. If you like, you can buy. If you like, you don't buy. No problem. But I, I will still go ahead and tell you about the book. It's one of my best work to date. The title of the book is Affluent Buyers. Like you want to get affluent buyers? That's what that book is all about. So the book is there. The link is going to be there. And then again, you can also come to my company where we develop strategy. We give a strategy to help you, systems, strategy and campaign to help you get, you know, premium clients. So clientsattraction.com. The clients is the plural form of clients. Clients attraction with an X. Yep. Clientsattraction.com. Just go there. There's lots of good stuff there that you can also use. And then jump into the list and then let's get stuff together. You want system, you want to get high ticket clients to see what we can do for you for free. We're going to give you an, um, um, you know, we jump on the call, we develop a blueprint for you, customize specifically for your business. You know, when we're not asking to pay us anything, I mean, <laughs> just take it and then use it. Perfect. In fact, I guarantee that the blueprint I'm going to design for you is going to be awesome. And if, if for any reason it's not awesome, you don't like it, you think we wasted your time, we're going to pay you $800. Nice. <laughs> Love it. So generous. Um, yeah. Perfect. Thanks for coming on my show and sharing some great info so that we can all jump on board to get uh, six and seven figure businesses. Yes. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm really, really happy I came. Awesome. So thanks, folks, for joining us. And if you're looking to achieve faster growth through content marketing and sales funnels, look no further than smoothbusinessgrowth.com. So have a profitable and productive week, folks. And may the winds always be at your back. <laughs>